Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Writer. In this module, I want to talk about how you can insert a table of contents and an index table into a document. So on the screen, I've got a document and in this document, I've used heading styles. So these are heading styles. This is introduction, that is heading style one. You can see there, if I click on program, you can see that that's heading style two. Now the styles themselves have been changed from the defaults to what I've got over here. You can see that's to home at 12 points and I've changed the spacing so there's no spacing before or spacing after on these headings. So on a normal document, when you first get this, these are set to different size fonts, different style font, uh, spacing before usually, and in some cases indents. You can change all of these. You don't have to accept those styles. So I've already done that. Now to insert a table of contents, you basically need to come down a little bit. So I need to come down and I don't want this top line to be a heading style. So I'm just going to click on uh, text body, which is going to put that back. Now, if I highlight this, there's no space in there. So let's have a look. So I want to put the table of contents there. Now that lives on the references area. Now, the first button actually is table of contents. If I click that, it gives me this list and some options in there for you to select different things. Title, I'm happy with that. And then you've got a preview on the right there of what it would look like. All of this is okay. I'm happy with this. You've got different tabs at the top where you can click on and have a look at what the information is in there. But for what I want to talk about today, I just want to drop a straightforward basic table of contents into this document. So all I have to do is click OK, and then it will appear at the top. So wherever it finds one of those heading styles, it will tell you what page that is. And it's saying there, look, if you move your mouse across one of these, if you um, control and click to open, basically goes to that particular page. So that's what I just did there, control and click now back at the top obviously this is great you usually put this on towards the end of a document that you've created but if you do have to insert a page or move things around a little bit let's just put a hard page break in there so i just did uh, control enter to move that down so obviously the page is now not correct for this table so what you've got to do is you've got to update this table otherwise that's not going to be correct so different ways to do it once you click back into the table you can see that this has now become active I can also click on the right mouse and update either way it'll do the the change so program is no longer on page one so if I click on update index it's gone to page two and you can see how that works there now to do an index at the back of a book is basically I need to get to the end of the document so I'm doing control and end and I'll do a little title index now what you have to do is sort of mark all the all the index entries that you want to appear so it's basically going through the document I'm not going to do loads but I'll do a couple so you can see I'll start on this page so let's say I want that to be in the index so you go again we're still on references index entry and you've got it highlighted there so I can just go insert that again at the top there you've got like different options but this is the one I want insert and then it's a case of just going through this document and inserting as as many of these sort of things that you want to insert I'm just randomly picking words to be honest um, I'll just go down a few pages like so it's not advisable to highlight the titles because your titles are going to be in the table of contents so you're just duplicating yourself really so insert if I want to highlight a list like that tick that one insert this is highlighted all those and that's going to drop that in so I'll, you can see that there and then insert and then when you I'll take that tick off actually now I don't want to do it all, all the way down there. I've already done that one, I think. And then when you're finished, you just click close, get yourself back down to the bottom 
obviously I didn't go all the way down but you can see now we need to insert that index so you don't go back into the index entry you go to the table of contents and you change what this is looking at so at the moment it's the table of contents but you want the alphabetical index and then it gives you the option to insert that index at the bottom so there's a little preview of what that's going to look like you click OK and it drops it in like so if you don't like the look of that do undo have a look at a different one and so we'll go back for alphabetical index let's go for two columns that might look a bit better let's click OK that does look a bit better so that's basically how you insert a table of contents at the top and an index reference at the bottom in writer so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one thank you